Welcome to BuzzChat GPT Client. Hello, how can I assist you today? Doctor. Speech so was a text. Two. Speech program developed by Creative Labs in the early 1990s for MS. Does. Based computers. It was designed to demonstrate the capabilities of Creative Labs. Sound cards and was distributed with their Sound Blaster sound cards. Doctor. Spatzel was an artificial intelligence. Open parent A. Close parent program that used text. 2. Speech technology to simulate a conversation with the user. It had a robotic sounding voice and could respond to user input with per written responses. The program was primarily used for entertainment purposes. And users could ask Dr. Spatzel questions, tell it jokes, or engage in general conversation. While Dr. Spatzel was not a particularly advanced AI program, it was one of the first examples of a chatbot and helped to popularize the idea of conversational A. Despite its limitations, Doctor. Spatzel remains a nostalgic relic of early computer technology and is remembered fondly by many who used it. Creative Technology is a Singapore-based technology company that specializes in the design and manufacture of computer hardware and software products. Founded in 1981, Creative is best known for its Sound Blaster audio products, which were among the first sound cards to be widely used in personal computers. Over the years, Creative has diversified its product line and now produces a range of products, including gaming headsets, speakers, webcams, and portable media players. The company has also ventured into the mobile phone market. With the launch of its Zenfone smartphones and tablets, Creative has a strong focus on innovation and has been awarded numerous patents for its technology. The company has also won numerous awards for its products, including multiple CS Innovation Awards. Despite facing stiff competition from other technology companies, Creative has managed to remain relevant and continues to be a major player in the computer hardware industry. Sound blaster cards are less common today due to several factors. One reason is that many modern motherboards come with good 
in audio solutions that offer similar or better audio quality than sound blaster cards. This has reduced the need for consumers to purchase separate sound cards. Another reason is that many consumers are now using wireless headphones and speakers, which do not require a sound card. In addition, the rise of digital music streaming services and the decline of physical media such as GBS and GBS has decreased the demand for high quality audio playback, which was one of the main selling points of sound blaster cards. Lastly, the cost of sound blaster cards is often higher than the cost of good in audio solutions, which may deter some consumers from purchasing them. You're welcome. Goodbye.